We're here at the Rotorua Wastewater Treatment Plant. It's a facility that produces about 9,000 tonnes of solid organic waste per year. We currently dispose of that waste to landfill at a, at a cost of around $900,000 per year. We searched for a number of solutions for far better treatment of that waste and really have come up with nothing until Cyan approached us with an innovative solution for the treatment of that waste. So we're here in Scion's hydrothermal processing lab where we started first working on Rotorua District Council's sludge problem. And our challenge was to take their sludge, which currently goes into landfill, and develop a process whereby the amount that goes to the landfill is massively reduced. And at the same time, try and make a valu valuable byproduct. And so what we do and the process we developed was to take their sludge material and essentially put it in a fancy pressure cooker where you add the sludge, add oxygen, heat it up, and what happens when you reach a high temperature is you get a burning of that sludge material. And so what we end up with essentially is an ash and a liquid product which we have other uses for. We spent about a year on developing the process and have, as a result of that decided to take that up to pilot scale facility. So this is our hydrothermal oxidation plant which basically takes sludge, busts it up to make some useful products. It's actually the second stage of a two-stage process which we've developed. The first one being a biological one where the sludge is pumped from the wastewater treatment plant and bacteria start to break that material down. It's then pumped into the feed tank of our plant and from there it's pumped under pressure into our reactor which is like a pressure cooker. So the sludge comes in, we add oxygen and we heat it up. We react it for about half an hour to two hours and as a result of that, the sludge essentially gets burnt in water. From there, the liquid is pumped through to the final stage into our discharge tank and all that we're left with is a solid ash and a liquid product which is like vinegar. The ash has got lots of phosphorus in it and so we can make use of that as a fertiliser and the liquid product has a use back here at the wastewater treatment plant. The next steps for Rotorua is the design and costing of a full-scale treatment facility. We see significant cost savings from that of about one and a half million dollars per year, in addition to reduction of impact on waterways and air discharges. We also see further opportunity for other industries that produce large quantities of organic waste, particularly pulp and paper, food processing, and meat industries.